Brad, hello. hello. Where are we? We are in Little Village. We're actually right in front of the Little Village Arch over here on 26th in Albany. But along 26th Street, you can find anything here in Little Village. You, uh, for everything, every single type of small business. Uh, right behind us, we have the Discount Mall. Right here to our left, we have Tortilleria El Milagro. If you ever need anything from, you need uh, masa para tamales, necesitas tortillas, tostadas, lo que sea, you get them from right here. Uh, you know, every, everything, you can find everything along here on 26th Street. So that's actually where we're at right now. How did you end up in Chicago? Uh, well, my parents, they actually immigrated from Monterrey, Nuevo León, Mexico. They married in 93, came here in 94, and I was born two years after that. So that's why I'm here. Are politics cool? Uh, politics are actually pretty cool. You can do uh, you can do anything with politics, uh, but for the most part, the, the most important thing that you can do with politics is advocating for your community. That's what I like about uh, politics, and that's what I think most people like about politics. Your favorite word in English? My favorite word in English uh, would definitely be uh, dichotomy. Uh, dichotomy is just you know two uh, saying that something that two things are diametrically uh, very different. So I, I I like the word. I don't know why. It just sounds very nice. Define your family in three words. My family in three words, I would probably say uh, honest, uh, loyal, and tight. Uh, I'd say that's the three words. Best experience in Mexico? Best experience in Mexico. Actually, uh, it was good and bad because it was a uh, Huracan Hilberto. Uh, it hit uh, Monterrey. I was over there visiting family. And while we were over there visiting family, uh, the street right in front of my abuelita's house uh, was fully like was full in water. So I actually started swimming uh, on the street. So that was actually pretty cool. It was pretty fun. Your favorite word in Spanish? Favorite word in Spanish? Uh, inculcar. I don't know why, just like, it nomás llena la boca al decirlo. Favorite Mexican saying? Favorite Mexican saying, uh, no cuentes los pollos antes de que nazcan. Who is your superhero and why? My superhero is uh, Pancho Villa. Um, no nomás porque es del norte, uh, but I think it's because, he, you know, he was able, uh, he, was just some, he was just a regular guy from a ranch, and he decided to uh, lift up arms uh, in order to, uh, to fight and protect uh, what he thought um, you know, working people uh, deserved. Why did you run for office? Uh, I think the main reason is that, you know, I know my community, I'm from this neighborhood. You know, the jail is literally a block, uh, block away from my house. My school is a block away from my house. L the Little Village Arch is a block away from my house. I know this neighborhood, I know this community, I know what it needs. I know where I stand on the issues important to my neighborhood. And so I think it's, it's, uh, it's only fair for me to fight uh, for my country, for my community, and for my district. Describe yourself in a hashtag. Uh, hashtag Hoven, that's how I describe myself. Who is your favorite politician? My favorite politician, uh, it's a little bit of bias, but it would have to be Congressman Chuy Garcia, because he's literally in Little Village as well. He's actually uh, not too far away from here. He's actually like a mile or two out. Uh, so I'd say he's my favorite. What would you like to be remembered for? Uh, I would definitely like to remember that, you know, as the country, as a society uh, slowly transitions uh, into a more uh, tech focused uh, economy, that our people, Latinos uh, and, uh, and the black community are not left behind and they were able to be integrated, uh, you know, into the future. Do you want to be president? I am 24 years old right now. And so that's 11 years down the line. I don't want to think about it right now because that causes me a lot of stress. Um, but you know, I'll, uh, I'll think about it once I get to that point. Three people you will take out for tacos. Three people I will take out to tacos. Uh, well, los, los invito aquí a la taquería El Milagro and I'll probably invite este Benito Juarez, Abraham Lincoln and uh, Napoleon, because uh, Los Tres estaban en guerra at one point, and you know, I want, I want to, you know, putting them all together in the same room, that would be super interesting. I think that'd be awesome. A book that everyone should read. Uh, the Labyrinth of Solitude by Octavio Paz. I think it very much captures uh, the Mexican character, and I think that would be a very good book for everybody to read. Tamales or deep dish pizza? Tamales, 100%. American football or soccer? Soccer, 100%. Country or mariachi? Um, no, both mariachi. Are politics for young people? Oh, 100% they are for young people. I mean, uh, I started off, I launched my campaign at 22. I started off as a representative at 23 and now I'm 24 years old. Uh, so, you know, I've, if anything, I'm a case in point that politics is for young people. What does it mean to be Mexican-American? Uh, uh, ya han escuchado el dicho de que uh, no soy de aquí ni soy de allá. 
uh, but I honestly, I think it's a little bit flipped. It's soy de aquí y soy de allá. The Mexican American, uh, you know, you're born in the United States, but you know, tu gente está todos en México. I mean, that's the case for me. I'm a Mexican American, so I think. Uh, is not that complex of an issue to understand. You know, I think uh, we have roots in both countries on both sides of the border. And I think as long as we're able uh, to hold on to those roots and make sure that we never forget them, I think that's what it means to be a Mexican-American. Thanks, Edgar. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.